Hey guys, what I want to talk about today is the uh, basics of installing a uh, simple sprinkler system in either your front yard or your backyard for an area that's just the size of your normal house, not something too complex. Now before we start um, talking about the actual installation, I want to just go over the basics of the different types of sprinklers that are out there. So why don't you scroll down below this video and check out a couple of pictures that I uh, drew in Microsoft Paint for you. You don't need to be able to see me for this part, just leave the video running and I'll just explain uh, the different pictures. Now you'll see um, in the first picture it's just, it's just a rectangle. Uh, which represents a rectangular yard. The green is just the border of the grass line and you'll see a bunch of shapes. In the picture below it, the yard is a little bit more funky looking. It's got a lot of strange angles and things like that here and there and you see the same shapes in that yard. Now what those shapes represent are the different types of preset sprinklers that exist that are uh, available for purchase without any type of modification. There's the wedge which represents a 90 degree sprinkler head and then there's the half circle which represents a 180 degree sprinkler head and then there's the uh, there's the full 360 degree um, sprinkler uh, obviously that sprays all around in a circular pattern so without having to do any modifications or not having to set anything or or having to um, having to change any of the presets you can buy out of the box sprinkler heads for, uh, that are very inexpensive that will shoot in a 90 degree pattern, a 180 degree pattern, and a 360 degree pattern. Which is very very handy for uh, first time people who have never installed a, a sprinkler system in their yard before and, and want something simple that they don't have to have a, a whole lot of know-how to modify. So now scroll back up so you can see the video and I'll show you an example of what we're talking about. This is an Orbit um, 2 inch pop-up, you can see sprinkler. That I that I got from Home Depot. Uh, it's very inexpensive, two dollars. It's a very effective sprinkler, and it's perfect for uh, for a backyard or a front yard small area installation. You could do a 50 by 50 foot or you know 100 100 foot area with one of these. They're very effective. They're simple. They're cheap. They're only two dollars at Home Depot, and they're really nice sprinkler heads. Uh, you'll notice on this one, it has that shape I was talking about. You'll see the wedge because this is a 90 degree sprinkler head. This shoots out a pattern of 90, uh, 90 degree spray of water. And the way, one of the ways you can tell that, if you open up, pop up the, uh, pop up the tip, you'll see that there's, there's a uh, spray, um, a little hole right there where, where the water comes out. And if you rotate it, you'll see that it's solid in the back, which means that the water is going to spray out of here at a 90 degree pattern. If you look at the top, try and get it not in direct sunlight you can also see it says one quarter and it has arrows which show you obviously that it's a one quarter inch brass tip and that the water is going to come out um, in that direction so it's very handy it has a it already is preset to shoot out at 90 degrees so it's built to go in a corner where you're gonna have a right angle where maybe uh, the grass runs into you know your patio or your walkway or whatever and needs to only get a pattern of, uh, of 90 degrees of water spraying out at a right angle this also has another number on it you can see it says right there it says 15 feet that's the maximum effective range um, well, not not necessarily. That's the maximum distance that this sprinkler should be placed from another sprinkler of the same type. Which means that if you have a uh, if you have a sprinkler here that's a 180 that's against the uh, let's say it's against your uh, your patio walkway, then 15 feet away, if you had another 180, then the spray from the one and the spray from the other would just barely touch each other at 15 feet. So that's the maximum uh, effective range of this with another sprinkler of a like type. This also has a number that you may or may not be able to read that says 10 feet to 15, which means that depending on how much overlap of water that you want uh, for your sprinkler installation, these sprinklers should be placed between 10 to 15 feet away from each other. If you do 10 feet uh, between sprinklers, then you're going to get more overlap between the two sprinklers and you'll get more uh, more um, coverage obviously of water than if you do 15 feet. I personally prefer 10 feet. I live in a hot, arid, dry uh, area in San Diego. That's, that's always how I install the sprinklers, but some people don't need that much watering and they just do 15 feet. So as you can see, even if you have a pretty large backyard, being able to space your sprinkler heads between 10 and 15 feet apart from each other, you really don't need to install uh, that many sprinklers in order to uh, 
in order to get very good coverage for your yard. So what you're going to need to do before you can do anything else, before you can think about actually doing your underground pipes and stuff like that, you're going to need to map out your yard. You're going to want to take a tape measure and you, depending on the shape of your yard, you'll see in the, in the samples that, you know, that I've, I've shown yards that are just uh, have strange shapes and you got to figure out well what's the best combination of sprinklers because it's really up to you it's your yard you know what where should I put sprinklers here there everywhere in order to get the best coverage so I don't have bare spots and I don't have spots where I'm watering stuff that I don't want to be watering um, in your yard and still get still get very effective coverage and you need to figure out where each sprinkler head is going to go uh, before you can lay your PVC pipe grid or dig your trenches because you're not knowing you don't know yet where you're going to dig a trench to because the trench needs to end up at a place where a sprinkler is going to going to rise up from the ground and be able to water so that's that's the step that you need to do now before you can move on to the next step which is how to actually install a PVC pipe grid underground and how to inner interface it so that a sprinkler can actually come up from the uh, the underground pipe in the way that's most effective that's the easiest to fix in case it breaks and how to build it just properly so do that now and then before the next video we'll talk about actually how to interface and put it all together and and build your own uh, backyard or front yard uh, sprinkler system